The U.S. President Barack Obama says it's his biggest mistake in office. He says he failed to plan better for the aftermath of military action in Libya. CCTV's Jim Spellman joins us live from the newsroom with more on his comments. Jim. Yeah, Elaine, Libya has descended steadily into chaos since coalition forces attacked the Gaddafi-led Libyan government back in 2011. Obama says poor planning by the U.S. contributed to the mess in Libya. Asked on U.S. TV program Fox News Sunday what his biggest mistake in office has been, U.S. President Barack Obama said this. Probably failing to plan for the day after uh, what I think was the right thing to do in uh, intervening in Libya. In 2011, an international coalition that included the U.S., France, and Great Britain took military action in Libya. Later that year, Muammar Gaddafi was ousted from power and killed. You had uh, the Gaddafi regime of massing forces prepared to um, carry out an act of violence against a substantial uh, and defenseless population. And the international community, led by the United States, responded uh, to prevent uh, a good portion of that violence. And that obviously was a good thing. But Libya soon descended into chaos. Rival governments formed and jockeyed for power as militias and jihadist groups, including the Islamic State, took hold. There's a real danger that if in Libya they were able to uh, gain control of oil producing facilities, then they would find a way to sell it. And that would generate money to and allow them to even form a quasi state uh, of the sort we see in Syria and Iraq. The international community has struggled to bring order to the troubled country, even as Obama seems to admit the U.S. was at fault for poor planning in Libya. His administration seems more than willing to share the blame. The rest of the international community did not have time and did not succeed in following through with a plan to compensate for the vacuum that was left behind. Referring to the international community there in the past, Obama has been critical of the U.K.'s David Cameron Francois Hollande of France for their part in not planning for a more stable Libya. Elaine? And Jim, how has what happened in Libya altered U.S. foreign policy? Yeah, a lot of people say you're seeing the impact of lessons learned in Libya in the U.S. foreign policy in Syria. The White House says mistakes made in Libya have made Obama much more reluctant to take on so-called regime change without a clear path of what comes next, Elaine. All right, Jim Spellman in our newsroom.